I think the people that will benefit the most are those in the area that have to go so far to get fresh fruits and vegetables. I guess you can take this big one off here. So here we have the community vision plan for the food forest. And these are census tracts where over 20% of the population in that area is below the poverty line. And low access where fresh food access points are greater than a half a mile from where, that, where people live within that neighborhood or that census tract. So that is what we call food desert or, or lila areas. And these are areas that we're concentrating all of our efforts to supporting the local food economy in these areas so that we may be able to establish uh, new fresh food access points um, using urban agriculture. Fresh food access can look in many ways, traditional grocery store, maybe a super center like Walmart, but then also there's some local independent grocery stores and even smaller still specialty stores. Um, be, even uh, beyond that, there are innovative fresh food kiosks like we have at four at our MARTA stations, which are our mass transit lines, and then a number of uh, farmers markets all around the city. That's what we like to do, help people eat healthy and live healthy from the inside out.